today what we need to look at is we're going to be looking at graphing motion. All right, but in order to do that, we have to know some of our vocabulary words. Now, in our previous video, I told you that motion is always judged with respect to some other object or point. You remember Eric Church, and I moved him up and down. And that point is usually around something that's a permanent point or a semi-permanent point. Or you might be talking north, south, east, or west. You don't just say uh, it next to. You really need a directional thing. But really, what motion is, is it's a change in position measured by a distance that's around a point, and that me it is measured by distance, like north, south, east, or west, and time. And we'll often do that in minutes, hours, or seconds. Okay? Now, speed tells us the rate at which an object moves. We know how fast our cars move. We know the distance that they go measured by time. When we look at velocity, that's a little bit of a different concept. Velocity tells us the speed that it's going and the direction it's going, whether it's forwards, backwards, north, south, east, west, left, or right. That's when you're looking at velocity, so it's a directional thing. And then acceleration actually tells us the rate of the speed or the direction and how it changes. So you're accelerating, you start out slower and you speed up, but that acceleration can be a slow acceleration or fast acceleration, okay? Now, when we're looking at all of those things, oh, by the way, you should be writing all of these definitions down. You'll have to go back and pause the video. You need to write all of those down in your notebook on page 73, please. Now, once we have that information, we're going to be graphing the information. All right? When we have distance and time, distance or time graphs, the distance always goes on the y-axis. You know this from math class. Mr. Atkins has taught you this or probably other teachers in years past, and time always goes on the x-axis. The zero point is actually the start point. How far it goes up is how far the, the distance from the start point, whatever that happens to be, and the time is how much time has elapsed from the start time. All right? So, time is increasing. Now, let's look at this one. And this one represents that time is increasing to the right, but the distance doesn't change. And over time, you've got a flat line, and the object is actually not moving. So the distance stays the same over whatever period of time. Now, for these graphs, I have not actually put numbers in to show you how far anything is or how long it is. But as you look at graphs, you have to be able to interpret the general thing that's happening. So for this one, you would say the object is not moving. When you look at something like this that has a straight line up from the start point, and it just goes like at a 45 degree angle is about what this one does, tells you that the object is moving at a constant speed. Now, this is what you need to do. You should be writing all of this down too in your notebook, but I have three more graphs that I'm going to show you. When I show them to you, you're going to have to pause the video. I want you to draw them, and then I want you to write a hypothesis about what you think is actually happening according to the graph. All right? Now, the first one, You've got the solid line that I told you what it meant on that previous board, but I want you to tell me what this dotted line indicates. What's your hypothesis? What do you think is happening there? So that's the first one. The second one, I want you to make an educated guess about what you think this line indicates. It starts out, goes like this, okay? Pause it, write a hypothesis about what you think is happening in the graph. And then the third one looks like this. Goes shoop like that. And I want to know what you think. What is your hypothesis about what is actually happening, happening to the moving objects in the graph? Now, it's okay to guess wrong. I don't mind if you guess wrong, but it's important that you guess. And we will look at these in class tomorrow. Got it? Great.